Yo, what's up guys? It is William. I am back with another video today. So about a month or so ago, I went on Instagram and asked if people wanted to see my what's in my camera bag type video. And about 14 or so people said they do. So that's what this video is going to be. So we're going to get right into it. So before I actually get into the bag, I want to give a shout out to everyone that helped me when my stuff was stolen. Uh, which is like Miss Ferrari just served and a third person I can't name but I appreciate all you guys for helping me out okay so the bag is by low pro um, it's called a flip side 300 aw mark II. Um, it has a rain cover which is pretty cool so when it rains all I gotta do is throw it over and it's on my back you know uh, so that's I like that feature a lot so the only thing I don't like about this bag is that I don't have space for a 15 inch laptop, um, which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing, but I don't like carrying all that weight, which would be bad when I have the laptop in a bag, my camera bag, but um, it would be kind of nice to have sometimes because I do like to do like audio checks and that for me right now, the only way I can do that is by taking the cart out, putting it into the computer and things like that. So I don't have that option is what I don't like about this bag. So opening up the front compartment, there's quite a few things. I have like some cleaning materials for like lenses and like screens, a uh, little duster vibe. I keep my SanDisk hard drive in the front as well. Um, this is what I put all like my video footage on. I edit off of this thing. Maybe some photography and projects going here. I have a Pelican case. Um, I keep my, obviously, my memory cards in here. I have two 128 SanDisk uh, memory cards. One is in the camera right now that's recording. So obviously I can't, you know. But yeah, this thing is pretty useful. Um, I don't really use the other ones, but they're backup. Um, so that's good. And then last thing in this compartment is just a portable charger that I barely use because I'm bad at charging my phones and keeping those charged which I need to get better at. Q-tips, it came with the cleaning kit. So I think there's like a little spot for like a tripod right here but I don't use that. Yeah, so I don't know exactly. I think it's for a tripod. There's a logo that has a tripod on it but I don't use it at all. So opening up the bag, you have, this is what you see. This is all what you see when you open it up for me. Um, to be honest with you, I don't ever keep Captain America and Spider-Man in here, but I thought it'd be cool to have Captain America and Spider-Man in the video. All right, so let's start over here. Uh, right here, um, I keep my tripod screw heads um, in here. They're right now on, on these lights that I got set up right now, but uh, that's where those things go for my tripods. Right here is an ND filter I just got for when I'm vlogging during the daytime and it's super bright. So, I don't know, let me see if you can tell what it does by just seeing me screw that. So basically it's like sunglasses but for your camera, which I'm finally glad I got to make that investment. Um, so now I can do more daytime vlogs and maybe daytime dance videos and whatever. Let's talk about this little pouch up here, which also comes out. I don't necessarily uh, take it out, but it's a feature that I have. Maybe I could throw like a shirt or something up here, but right now I don't take it out. But in here I keep uh, charging situations um, for my camera, batteries. Um, this is. Uh, tripod no this is an attachment for your phone to go on the tripod I keep one of these batteries uh, 9 volt batteries and I'll tell you why I have that in a second but yeah that's pretty much where all the batteries go Look out there. <clears throat> only batteries that don't go in that pouch are these double A batteries and those oh wait I have two I bought these because we put, we're supposed to have a hurricane, but it never came. So they're just gonna stay there because I have this light, which I don't use much, but I would consider this like a backup light in case I'm vlogging in the nighttime and I need to shine more light on my face. Um, so it came with the camera that uh, I have 
in like a eBay kit, I think. But um, yeah, that's what that is for. I have like a mini tripod in case I need to plug up, a, I don't know, well not plug up, but <laughs> put like maybe my phone on here or I don't really put my DSLR on here. But this is just like a backup. I can put my lights on here. They're small lights, so that's good. Also, I have my YouTube cards that I keep in here. So that's what I keep in this pouch or this part of the bag, actually. That's cool. And this little orange thing divider right here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how much the camera can see because I'm filming with my friend's camera and I can't see myself. It's a Sony. But uh, I keep a little road mini, uh, video mic uh, for my phone because I sometimes use my I sometimes use my phone to vlog um, or get like footage that I can't get with my um, camera, which is here. Um, but before I talk about the camera, let's talk about my road video mic. That's what it's, it's just road video mic. It's not a pro. It's not a pro plus. It's not a go. It's just a road video mic. Um, I love this thing. This thing has upped my sound for sure. Like I do like Step Up Three a lot, uh, but like if you notice the locations in dance movies, like nobody dances in like the dusty location or like. It does take a nine volt battery, which is why I have an extra one in my bag. Um, but this thing is a great investment. Um, you should definitely check this out if you want to get better sound for your videos. And if the audio isn't that great here, I'm sorry, but. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into this guy, which is the Canon T5i. Um, it's one of those entry-level cameras that you know you use to get into videography, photography. I think I am ready to upgrade. I'm probably gonna up try to upgrade to a Canon EOS R. Um, but right now, this is what I'm using. Um, it has a flip out screen which I like for vlogging um, or for just angle getting you know certain angles very helpful um, so yeah I don't hate it but I want to move on from it the lens I'm rocking right now is a 16 to 35 um, I owned this before um, all my stuff got stolen um, but I got it again because you need it for vlogging it's great for video um, very wide um, so it's the 1635 2.8 Mark II. So the glass is pretty decent, decent than others. But that's what I'm rocking usually. Um, and lastly, I am rocking also a Canon 70 to 200 2.8 uh, Mark II. I made a video on this lens. Um, this is probably my most expensive purchase in, photo in the video photography world. Um, you can go watch that video if you want to, but this lens is amazing for photography and video. I use it for both. Um, I don't know what else to say really. Like I really love it. The, the images are really nice. Um, I don't want to upgrade to the third version. This is what I could afford and I'm glad I made this decision. Um, so yeah, that is in here as well. I think that's everything. Oh wait, sorry, I forgot this part. This is what I throw my iPhone on. It's a little attachment. Um, usually keep it on there most of the time. But I think that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for videos coming out, especially for this month of Halloween. I'm gonna to try to do some Halloween themed stuff. Uh, comment down below what you wanna see from me. Most of my content is dance and vlogging. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, 